Hi, welcome back to Quinoa Pot Creations. And today's t video is um, a, another Zoom session with my Facebook group where I demonstrated to them how I make um, horsehair earrings with uh, dyed horsehair and tin cones. And so here's your video. Over then, I guess I got my jump rings and my cones and my horsehair. And my imitation sinew. This is the hair that Patty sent me from her horse. It's so pretty. So when it's folded over, it'll fill your cone up pretty good. See, that might be a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna pull this out, hopefully. And I wanna be able to pull that in half. And you're gonna trim that to whatever size you want after you're done. So you get the I can't tell it. All right, now I'm going to take my imitation sinew. Hit that and I'm gonna separate this usually in half. I pull it apart until I, until it starts its own uh, separation there, then it's easier to pull. And it should just pull apart. All right, now I'm gonna wrap this around itself once or twice there. Good at that, so kind of want to smash that sinew together because it's going to stick to itself. Let's take that and get that right up through my cone. I'm gonna pull my hair in there. So you need it enough. See, I may not have enough there. Yeah, I don't have enough in there. All right, now hopefully, that that might be too big but we'll see all right so that's my i finally i think that's enough might be too much but i'll get it to go in that hair stays Sure. Can't go in my black. I'm just going to squeeze that hair to make a crease there. It'll make it easier to bend it up into the cone. Now, before I tie that tight, let's try it. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, that RPG is perfect too. Let's try that. All right, now. Here. So you want to make sure you have enough in there so that the length that you're going to make it, you have a good, good amount of hair in there. And now you're going to. All right, pull that. Oh, I felt that snip, there you go. Yeah, it didn't snap in there. There. That looks like a real good amount in there. Kind of fills up the cone, but it's not too tight. So I still got a little bit of space there. Mm -hmm. but it fills up that cone real good and because you got that fold it over it's going to spread out good so all right I can you use a straightener on horse hair? Excuse me. Can you use a straightener, hair straightener on horse hair? Um, I don't know. I've never done it, but I'm gonna say yeah. But I would put uh, like a protector on it, something it's over it, like parchment paper. Oh, okay. Or a towel around the hair, because you don't want the hair to get too hot. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty straight. Yeah. 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 When it comes, when it, like the ones I sent it, yeah, it comes pretty straight. But you do get the ones, it gets a crease in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would put parchment paper or something over it if I did it. Okay. Francis, should we wash it first? It depends on where you got it. Okay. I'm assuming Patty washed this. I washed it. I put a peroxide on it. Try to keep it good and white. Right. So she washed it before she sent it to me. So yes. <laughs> washed it and soaked it and washed and it. And I don't more. have to worry about surprises coming. So Francis, in the bundles that you sent us out, leave it long, but split it in half long ways. Is that what? I'm sorry, what? The bundles that you sent us, these, um, leave it long, but separate it in half this way for two? Separate it in half? Yeah, long way for two earrings? Yeah. But don't cut. But the cone that you have uh -huh. is going to tell you how much of that to use. You may not use all of it right but i'm saying split it long ways don't cut it this way don't cut it okay yeah you're just gonna pull it apart it may be long enough for you to make more but you'd have to hang on here let me get it <clears throat> open my ring and i'm gonna push that so that it's Gonna when it comes to hang on my so when it comes together it's gonna rub on rub on itself. 
That way I know it's real tight. Okay. And then I'm gonna push that together. So I, oops, so I can make sure that hole is closed. Oh, shit. And then I'm just gonna tie that. Hold that real tight. Now I'm gonna clip that fairly close, but I'm gonna leave a little bit out there because <clears throat> when I burn it, I want it to make a, I want it to all melt together. The knot and these two little things hanging out. Now that should stay pretty secure, but I will, but I, I'm going to cut this and you're going to cut it however you want it, um, whatever length you want it. Now you can cut it straight across, but I don't like the way that, I don't like the way that looks. So what I do is I, Cut it this way. So I'm cutting it at, at an angle up. There we go. And I think that looks better than just to cut straight across or flat across. Okay. And that's it. And then we just go ahead and Put a earring wire in there. <sighs> yeah, they turn out really nice. I really like it. I couldn't resist the blue and red cones when I saw them. Uh, they're pretty <laughs> with those cones. All right. All right. So I'm going to copy Karen. <laughs> Thank you for. Sharing. Cut that in half. Oh, I should have cut in half. Now I'm going to. I'm not going to guarantee this works, but I'm going to try this wire. I probably shouldn't do this.
It's too late now. I'm going to get that as tight as I can. Twist that a couple times. That tight. Yeah, as tight as I can. I'm gonna use my tin cone. Run that up there and get my hair to go up there. Take that. And I guess that's probably about a half inch. Gets this the my pliers the size of the loop I want. Probably about right there. Close to it. I'm gonna run that around. I'm gonna twist this onto itself. I'm gonna try and get that all together there. I'll cut those off. Now this is what I would use. I don't think I'd wear that for an earring. If I was making it to be a tassel, I'd make it like that. And that concludes our video today, which is our edited session of our Beating Circle Zoom class that I held every Sundays uh, for my Facebook group. So thanks for stopping by. I hope that you got some good information from the video and that you'll try the project yourself so appreciate it if you'd like and share my videos to help support me so I can continue to provide this free teachings you can stop by and join my Facebook group creation corner beating circle this is where I hold the live zoom sessions on sundays from 1 p.m to 4 p.m pacific standard time please if, when you join answer all three questions so that i can let you into the um, group or you can stop by and see my website which is www.quinwapawcreations.com where i put my blog about myself and my healing journey that brought me to this point of wanting to share my knowledge and skills with everyone. So if you want to support me, you can scan this code and buy me a coffee or become a supporter, um, monthly supporter. So I would appreciate it. Any help would um, continue my ability to stay on to provide my knowledge and skills. So thanks for stopping by. See you next time.
It's not gold. See, I put gold in there. Oh, I'm sober. See, that is a bigger, bigger cone. Now this is, I believe this is a link that was in the kit. Are those cones painted? The what? The cones, are they painted? Um, I Yeah, I guess that's paint. I don't oh, know, I yeah. ordered them from Fire Jam. Wow, those are there's pretty. A, there's oh, a flower on one side and a butterfly on the other. Yeah, those are pretty. I dig it. So I'm going to try and, I don't know if I want. Yeah, I'm going to. I don't know if that's long enough. Be up in there. I think I'd like it a little bit longer. I've got to run, but I just wanted to say thank you very much. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you were able to step in. Thanks. I'm splitting this in you right now, Cheryl. Are you watching? You better not have left. I won't let you back <laughs> in. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> She did, didn't she? And then he'll come back and ask me a million questions. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. Hopefully that's going to be enough. I was going to use wire, but we have silver. And those cones have gold trim on there and just wouldn't look great. I don't think it's locked. It's open then. <clears throat> it should. All right. I'm square not that. Oh, I think I made that too short. Yeah. 
Probably have enough length on there to pull it up through there. I'm gonna pinch that hair to give it that crease. Makes it easier to you can see that when you pinch it, it gives it a crease right where you want it to go up into the cone. You know, I have the two, um, the, when I log into my Facebook or, or uh, Messenger, I have, I have a code sent to my phone to let me in so they know it's me. And it always irritates the crap out of me to have to do it. <laughs> but today I got a message saying that a device had tried to log into my Facebook me too. From and Russia. couldn't. From and Russia. couldn't because uh, I have that authenticator on there. Me too. Oh, from yeah. Russia. Now, I people get irritated to have to answer the questions. I have had to get rid of scammers, and I'm I don't. <laughs> just hate it so yeah. that is not enough hair for me I don't know if that see I got a gap right there mm -hmm. I hate to put too much in there, didn't you? It would just be a big clump. Was it Crazy Crow that currently has a sale on horse hair? I don't know, do they? Yeah, little bags of horse hair. I think it was Crazy Crow. Bags, yeah, little little bags. Well, it's got a wrap in it. Hmm. What? So, where did you just come from? I was talking to you. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> if you can't I answer drink, me, you, I drink. <laughs> I drink coffee, and you have to ask where I went. <laughs> Oh, I let's see, you missed, uh, you missed me tying or I, separating I, the sinew again. I <laughs> knew if I went to the bathroom, I would miss something. But I don't know how to put you on pause. <laughs> I was afraid of that. <laughs> Alright. How long are those cones? <laughs> These cones are an inch long. 
Oh, I'll be darned. Huh? They, I thought they look littler. No, nope, they're an inch long. See, these are quarter inch or half inch. That's what I'm starting off with. And they, they're, I wondered if they were too little, but I happen to have some. No, they're, I think they're the right size, but I wanted to see what it looked like with the flowers on there. Hello. Uh -huh, hi. How's this one? How are you? Karen. Looks good. I can't. Karen, keep holding it there. I'm trying to find you. Looks good. I can't find Karen. I can't find it either. Let's unpin me. All right. Say something, Karen. I'm here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. How do you one. like it? Yeah, I like it. it, did it oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Thank I can't that looks find her. Nice. Yeah. You're dancing. Yeah. Perfect. Looks good. Oh, there she is. Yeah, well, it's too late. She left. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it took too long she, to find her. Karen <laughs> likes me. <laughs> Karen, that's, uh, that even is a nice length. Yes. You'll probably. What was that like? What, what's the like? You're muted. How long is that, Karen? I folded it the hair in half. The hair itself in half. Mm -hmm. Right. And then half. What'd you end that. up with, though? And then half of that. Two halves. Your halves make a four inch? Yeah. Pretty. Well, what was the length? You. I'm sorry, I was. I fold the, I folded it in half and then cut it in half again, so like I can. Okay. Get, so I can get like another set out. Yeah, and that it, it looks real good. Look what Zen's computer's doing. Oh, love it. She's psychedelic. <laughs> 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 Karen, that's so good. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Amazing. I don't think I have enough hair in mine. Use <laughs> some of yours. <laughs> well, these little quarter <laughs> inches or half <laughs> inches are hard to. They're they're wider. They are. They're wider than these uh, cones from. Crazy crow, the tin ones. See, that wouldn't take much to fill it in. But you're getting a lot more cone than you are here with that. These new cones are pretty. Heck, I like Patty's horse hair so well. I think I'll just go get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> I guess if you're wearing it yourself, that's fine. But don't be selling that. That's not it. A... <laughs> When I was in grade school, a black boy, they said Indian's hair was made out of horse hair and a black boy came by and pulled my ponytail. And we started fighting, rolling around on the floor. Oh my. <laughs> Who won? I have you in here. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna think he didn't. 
<laughs> I wonder how it would be to use deer hair in these. I, you know, it's, deer hair is a little more coarse. Let me, didn't you send me some? I did. Um, let me go see if I can grab it. Here's my feather from last week. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, Karen, that's beautiful. Oh, it looks great. Got a horse hair on the end? Oh, no, that's, that's pretty. Leather. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, the fridge. That's pretty. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't get the style that Francis was doing, but I just made something. Yep, looks good. I like Thank those you. colors. Thank you. Looks good, Karen. Thanks, you. Learning a lot from this group. Thank you, ladies. Nice colors. That's a good place to, to learn right here. Yes, yes. Is that what you call it, Batty? Learning? <laughs> sure. I'm here for fun. You're here for fun? <laughs> I'm here for yeah. fun. I'm a lot learner. No, you're here to make my life Never mind. Here okay. <laughs> um, I so kind of want to hear the end of that sentence. The, which one of these was the deer hair here? This one, not you. I think you the didn't. one in, on the right. This That's one? Deer. Yes. Well, if it's kind of short. Just, right. But if you had an end cap, oh, there you go. You could put it up into an end cap. Oh, yeah. The only works. thing I, um, I guess it probably could. Let me go. Let me see if I can grab an end cap. I figured it must be good for something. Yeah. Because I wouldn't want to cut it. Maybe it's for tufting. Hang on, sorry, my pet's getting lowered. If you tick, thank you for this, Cheryl. By the way, you are welcome. If I get let, in, there, let you worry about what to do with it. I figured you'd come up with something sooner or later. You could put it into an end cap, but you would be worried about it not staying in. Mm -hmm. Because you'd have to. See, it's kind of all different.
No, it's too big there. <laughs> Man, that's too bad. Look, that coin I had it and wrapped. Wonder if it would help to glue it first. Now, see, my problem is um, the hair in the middle would not be secure. I don't want to wrap it that many times. I wonder if you could try <laughs> this it. doesn't work, Cheryl. Um, I wonder if you could yeah. try it in the middle and pull it through a cone just to see what it looks like. But you can't bend it in half. Will it break? No. Um, it's too Even short. short. Even for one of those little cones? All right. What are you wrapping it with, uh, Francis? Is Sinew. Sinew? I can't yeah. hear. Somebody's, is someone talking to me? I just no, asked you, you need to if mute. you <laughs> tell us you're talking to me. I asked you if, uh, what you were wrapping it with. Uh, imitation sinew. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Sorry, my volume on my iPad was down. Francis will wrap it, put a dab of like E6000 before you put it in the end cap. Oh yeah, I am. Oh, but the, yeah, problem is I got to get enough to fill the end cap pretty good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Sorry, Biz. Well, if you did it that way, Terry, couldn't you then? Put the tie the sinew below it and remove it. I I wouldn't. I don't think I would either. Yeah, um, I wouldn't. I trust it. It probably much. continue to shed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna take that. And I'm gonna cut all of this straight across. Let's get it right in there. Oh, sure. I hate the sticky.
Oh no, it came off. Oh no. And Cheryl's fault for seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did. It came off. Crap. Let's try that again. Can't tie it tight enough, I guess. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I'm feeling better. <laughs> I did. I felt miserable on, on Friday, Thursday. I didn't do anything. I'd sleep all day long enough to be able to beat in the evening, get that medallion order finished. Sleeping off the sickies is a blessing. It felt, you know, and my body just couldn't handle the, we bought a new mattress and it's real firm. <laughs> it couldn't sleep too long. But it did, it felt good to sleep all day for once. I didn't have grandbabies, so. All right, I'm gonna try that again. Get this all the way up to the top. Oh, hair is coming off. See, I don't know if that's gonna fit. Yeah, see, it's just too short and too fine. I, I no. So there's your answer, no. I'm Thank not you. doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So I still think it'll good. have its it'll have its place somewhere. It's gonna have its place somewhere. Oh definitely. But not today. Good try though. <laughs> it was good try. I thought yes. I could do it. Thanks for but trying. I would do it, but I it would uh, end cap would work with the horse hair though, because the horse hair, the sinew, that deer hair is real soft and fine, and so this wouldn't stick to it as well as it does to the horse hair. Uh, the horse hair is a little more coarse. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna remember where I was at. Thanks for trying. You're welcome. You want to have to? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> now, how long did you say yours were, Karen? Oh, I, I folded it in half and then I folded it in half again. Do you have an okay, idea how long it was to start though? Whatever Francis sent me. Whatever okay. I sent her. So the, what I have is in half. And what she did and was I, fold it in half again. Yeah, I cut it in right. half and then I fold it in half. Okay. Then I fold it in half. Well, I'm gonna leave these. I'm going to make them that long. I think these are going to be about four inches long.
There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those cones are really nice. They really look nice with that colored hair. They're due. Yeah, I just don't think I'd want to use a end cap because you'd have to cut it to fit down the, in there and the hairs inside. I wouldn't trust to be too secure. I got my hair all tangled up. <clears throat> Are you ready for another question? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> makes me nervous. <laughs> and I'm the one said it. What can I do for you, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> what thoughts would you have <laughs> on a good way, I got to find out to turn the camera on here, to uh, do these earrings with those, these squash blossom beads that I have, because, where am I? Oh, because see the holes go through the bead, not out the top. Hang on, let me get you up here. Now, now tell me what it is you want. What would be a good way to try? How oh, where'd I go? Oh, I'm holding the bead to show you against the my square against me on the. <laughs> <laughs> That's like making a typo on a computer and <laughs> using the white out on the screen, right? <laughs> okay. These squash blossom beads. Ooh, pretty. Those look like real silver, too. They are. See how the hole is on the sides? Right. And what do you want? Since I can't bring the sinew out the top, then you're going to have to do it the way I was just doing the, the deer hair. You're going to have to cut it straight across. and It's going to be a challenge to get the sinew out of the each side of that, this bead. No, you don't want it out of the bead. You want it to come out of the comb. Right? No. Tell me yes, no. I, I, you want it to go inside that cone. Right. You want the hair to go inside that cone. So you're gonna do it just the way here. Here, let me, you're gonna do it just the way I just tried with the deer hair. You get that all together and tie that up and then glue it in there into the cone. Right? Okay. Well, I can't get that in. So what am I gonna bring out of these holes? You know what? See, there you go again. You don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> How big is that hole? Can you get beads to go through there? I would put a no. string of beads through it. Yeah, make it like a necklace. How many of those do you have? You don't lots. have lots and lots. So if you That's put that they were for, I've made necklaces with with them in the past. So 
so you said beads can't fit through that hole it's right. not big enough mm -hmm. right wow. well you well you could still string beads up to the hole even holes. though yeah even though they're not going through the hole if you had it <sighs> it, let me see here I'm doing it again, holding that. You are. You always do it. That's why you're here. <laughs> All right. So I would. No, this is just me. I don't care what you do. <laughs> I'm asking. Right, I'm asking so your opinion. I would just put. I would put some a string of beads just like that, either loose or tight, and hook it to a jump ring or an earring. Why oh, now I gotta find you again. I gotta find me too. Dan? Do, do you know what I'm saying? Not yet. I'm trying to make you big. You just yeah. okay. Back to speaker. There you are. Yeah. See, so I would just pit, put a row of beads over the top of the. Oh. And either the... either right up close tight or longer to make a loop and hook the ear wire right to the. Uh, yes yes top of the loop yes well that sounds that's like a good idea do. that's what i would do with the littlest beads i got that would that would be nice yes yes and um a variety color that you're gonna so you'll get you know a good color Whatever. <laughs> More than one color. I would right. Use. Oh, well, right. and I've even got some itty bitty silver beads I could alternate in there and yeah, do a do a few of my favorite things. There you go. That Very good. Work. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so good you idea. just make. So you're gonna take your hair and tie it up cut it off straight and then feed it up into that cone well put some glue on it first i guess i'd put the glue inside the cone because i tried i just tried putting it on there and it didn't work oh yeah well. that makes what more sense. that makes more sense too right very good worth a try Yep. I think it would look really nice. Thank you, Francis. Gotta go. And uh, okay, thanks for coming. I <laughs> hope you made one. <laughs> you could even put more than one row of beads on there. Well, because the hole looks pretty big. So you could pass through it several times. Right? Oh. With the thread I could. With the thread, yeah. Yeah. Because the beads can't go through, but the thread could. Well, now you got me. I'm going to try sticking a bead in there. Mm. <laughs> Who is that, Valerie? <laughs> E6000 to Gerber. Well, E6000. Must be like the duct tape of glue, right? <laughs> yeah. <care> of it. <laughs> well, elevens don't come close going through there. Well, you don't want them to go through. No. Right. So that's good. Yeah. yeah. So you could put you could if if the hole is big enough for your thread to go through many times, you could put you can cover that whole bead. 
I think that would look pretty cool, actually. And I have those, the ones we saw last week before I found these. Single tops, where'd they go? I just had them. <laughs> Gosh, I was supposed to come in and clean my room today so I'd be more organized and I did not make it. I made it from the bed to the couch and that was it. And you made it to group. So uh, hey, I made it here. I no, I made sure I rested and even had something to eat and drank some coffee yesterday to make sure I was better. I was not given in. <laughs> I refused to give in. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna get my Hi, ladies. Hi, how are you? Oh, Who's talking to me? This is Michelle Beatty. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Oh, I've been sick for about three weeks. Oh, no, that's a yeah. long time. I yeah. thought four days was bad. <laughs> what yeah. happened? I, well, they didn't, I didn't have COVID. I had stomach flu then. Oh, they said I had a false negative. They drew my blood and they said I had COVID. Uh-oh. So, you know, I work at a Native American school. So I work with students and went back one day, got a million hugs and started oh, running no. 102, 102 temperature that night. So got sick again and feel better today, but I went through four rounds, two shots, one shot of steroids, and four rounds of antibiotics. Wow. And what really kick-started my healing was Um, our woman Indian medicine tea from good old Montana. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go. That's what really started my healing. So that's, that's the best kind of healing. Yeah. For all that medicine, I just have to get it. All those antibiotics, I have to get them out of my system. Yes. Yeah. But I have a question. Francis, are you going to do another um, earring for us right now? Tie it and all that? I'm, I'm doing one right now. I'm doing okay. my other side of this blue. Okay. Okay. So I'm I got good. my hair. Okay. Got my hair in a bunch. And I wrapped my ornamentation sinew around a couple times. Now I tied it in a knot. Okay. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to pinch that hair. I'm going to put a crease in that hair so it's easier to pull up into my cone. See that puts a crease in that. Okay. Okay, and I guess I maybe I'll try put I'll try putting some glue in, there, in the cone. I know I'm not using E6000, Valerie. <laughs> you put glue in there, huh? I I didn't put it in there before, but I'll go ahead and put it in this time. So it's up to you. I'm when I made these, I didn't put any glue in them. I just put the Um, send you in there and burnt it. All right, now I'm just gonna pull that through.
And then get my gem ring, make sure. Now someone here said you could buy rings without, that are not jump rings, that are just a ring, make it easier. Because if you don't have this, these jump rings tight enough, that sinew will just go right through. So did you put that jump ring on your sinew? I'm gonna tie it in there. Oh, okay. Hang on. I'm just trying to get my jump rings out. It won't come off of the, when I tie it in there. So what I'm gonna do is, pass my sinew through my jump ring both ways here. One one way, and one the other. And then tie my knot. So I'm going to tie in just like a knot there. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so that ties the knot on the top of my cone. And then I do the same thing the other way. Make a square knot. Now clip that kind of short. I'm gonna take my thread zapper and you could use a lighter. I just don't wanna, I'm too afraid to have a lighter near the horse here because yeah. I know myself. I know myself too well. Yeah. <laughs> and I just melt that into a bowl and it will secure itself right to there. I'm a horse here. I might have to straighten that. I don't like the way that's hanging. <laughs> I have to see if I can straighten it out. So then once I get that done, I'm gonna cut it the same length as this other one. I'm not gonna cut it straight up because I don't like the way that looks. So I'm just gonna skip that up. All right, there we go. And there's my blue ones. Oh, they're beautiful. <sighs> yeah, they turn out really nice. I really like it. I couldn't resist the blue and red cones when I saw them. <laughs> they're pretty with those cones. All oh, right, pretty. now. Gonna take a, and this is the size of, that was in the kits. You can sure get a lot more hair in those bigger size cones. Yeah, it was those a look lot. nice, really nice. Yeah, nice and full. Okay, this is how much I had put in the kits. I was worried it wouldn't be enough, but caring made it work so I have hope for myself 
<laughs> Francis, we have the exact same horse hair color. Oh, do we? And I and I I cut my yellow hair off my horse. And my oh, brother wow. my brother dyed it for me. But my blue horse hair, my niece sent it to me from Montana. I don't oh, know. Wow. Where but uh, yeah, me and you have this exact same horse hair color. All right. All right. So I'm going to copy Karen. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Cut that in half. Oh, I should have kept it in here. Now I'm going to I'm not gonna guarantee this works. But I'm gonna try this wire. Probably shouldn't do this. But it's too late now. I'm going to get that as tight as I can. Twist that a couple times. That tight. Yeah, as tight as I can. I'm gonna use my tin cone. Run that up there and get my hair to go up there. Take that. And I guess that's probably about a half inch. Gets this the my pliers the size of the loop I want. Probably about right there, close to it. I'm gonna run that around. I'm gonna twist this onto itself. Ow. And just when you do the jump ring, do you use the one that looks like a miniature key ring or do you just use a jump ring? I just use a jump ring. Uh, um, like a key ring, like more than one ring. Yeah. You yeah. They... No, I use just a jump ring. Okay. I'm going to try and get that all together there. I'll cut those off. I'm 
I send you it right through that. Yeah, that's what I said. You you got to make sure um, when you put them, pull them. Oh, my, my brain went dead. <laughs> I have an excuse, though. Uh -huh. Now, this is what I would use. I don't think I'd wear that for an earring. If I was making it to be a tassel, I'd make it like that. Yeah, that's, that's nice. So it's not a jump ring, and I don't have to worry about it coming off. Yeah, that looked good off a horse bridle. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I guess I didn't. But yep, that's that's how I would do it if I were going to use that as a tassel. Because I don't think I'd wear these tin cones as an earring. I am going to have to um, get up and move around here. My body's <laughs> screaming at me. So Got to get up and move. I always figured when you said that, you just had to go to the bathroom. No, my hips and my, <laughs> my back cannot handle me sitting still too long. No, actually, I have gone to the bathroom when I've gone up and moved, but that's not why. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I don't even want to. Never mind. <laughs> I skip. I have to go. So you were too sick to go to that bead sale. I was. You wouldn't tell me where it was at. I did too. No, you didn't. I sent you the whole thing on it. Uh, I think you're. It was separate from the first one I sent. And it um, is on your yeah, page. Yeah, there is no way. I wanted to see if there was someone to contact to see if I could just take all the beads. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I just made her an offer of 50 bucks for all of them. Wow. And she took it? Heck no. No, in fact. How much were there? Um, none left when I got there. Oh. Yeah, I. there was no way I was going to be able to drive town. No, somebody came in the first day and bought them all, she said. Oh. She said there was over a hundred of the two things. Are you kidding? Oh my God. No. Well, somebody got away with a good deal. Yeah, I don't know how much she sold them for, but she had a few oh. craft things there, a few uh containers and a bunch of nylon thread and I asked her how much or how old the nylon thread was and she said well it's probably about 20 years old oh my goodness and I said well what do you want for it and she said I think there was like six or seven different colors on the small spool things bobbins yeah, and she wanted $15 for them. But how many? Uh, six or seven. No okay. way. Yeah. Well, no and being way. that old, 
thread. That yeah, I was going to say, not 20 years old. No way. How, you know, who knows if it would even work? I was just afraid it'd pull apart and break. Right. Uh, yeah, somebody got a nice deal. Oh, yeah. but aren't you excited about ring? I am. I am. I already went in there and um, I already went in there and went to everything that I wanted and put on there for it to notify me when they're stuck. Oh. Because that's where I get my, was getting my bracelet blanks from. Uh, the cup size because I can't find them anywhere else cheap well, I'm anxious to know where they're going to move to I hope it isn't Northtown oh gosh I know that would suck that's why I don't go to Beyond Beads anymore me too because they moved to Northtown I used to go there, my husband, when he was doing his L&I, um, his doctor was right across the street from there. Oh, on Sprague? Yeah. I loved running in there. So there was a couple times I'd make an order and go pick it up. Yeah, they're a nice place, but it'll be interesting to see what the new rings yeah. and things is going to be. But heck, we just talked about that last week, wondering yeah. where their inventory was. Now, well, now we know. Yeah. Yeah, they got some good stuff. All right, there we go. There's my yellow tassels. Pretty. I am going to go and warm up my coffee and move. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us. You're welcome. I'll be right, I'll be back in a minute. Has anybody got any good tips for keeping this horsehair together as far as storing it again? <laughs> I'll be chasing hairs the rest of my life at this point. I just, um, I just tied my two ends together with sinew and it's just been hanging up on my wall with my beads. And then when you wanted to cut some off, you just yeah. put your sinew up. Yeah. Or I just, I just, um, I take like strands from, I'll pull for, I'll pull from, uh, I'll show you. See, there's. I gotta there's, get, I gotta find you again. I guess right. it's not even sinew, it's just rope. And I'll just pull from here, from right there. And I just actually pulled the whole rope off on the bottom. Because I'm not, I'm not using cones to put it through. I'm actually um, trying to one-up my niece, because she makes Danatelium earrings. I did this. I can't see that. it. I don't know if I have to be talking while you see well, it. Well, maybe hold it back a little bit. It's because okay. you have your background blurred. We can only see what's right in front of your face. Okay, so here is, here is what I made. Excuse my ashy hands. <laughs> move, move it. There. Well, those are pretty. 
That is pretty. Is uh, it two different colors? So dentilium shell and then horsehair on the bottom? Yeah, dentilium shell, horsehair, and Apollonian shell. That's pretty. So you use the dentilium shell as a cone. That's excellent. Yeah. And that's, that's a beautiful. Nice, oh, wow. My niece does, but she makes like eight in a row. You know, mm -hmm. horsehair, uh -huh. uh, Danitalian shell. And like ladies, for one side? Yeah, for one side. And ladies, she sells those for about 400 bucks. Wow. And, That's great. And they are off the hook. She can't keep up with her order, so. Wow. I told her, um, Auntie Mickey, my name's Michelle, but I go by Mickey. Mm -hmm. said, Mickey's retiring, and I showed you how to bead when you were six. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm going to help. I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. That's Very great. nice. You didn't have any trouble with the shell breaking when you were trying no. to force her no. up. I Just... really, um, I really take care of my denitalium shells the old way. You know, I, they come from water, so when you clean them, you use a water, a stone from water, and you clean them in natural water, not, um, not tap water. Uh huh. Rain water. Yeah, I live uh, I live out in the country, and we have well water. So I use an Apollonian shell, and I soak them in there. And then when I when I file them, I use a stone from I got from Oregon, and I and I shave them. I shave them with a stone from Oregon, and I really. And then I really store them good in a nice, cold, dry place. So, so that's the way I was taught by my grandma. Do you wow. store them in glass? Yeah. No, I store them in my Apollonian shell covered with the hide. Oh, oh wonderful. Yeah. And, you know, the um, only thing on natural on this is this little bling bling right here. That little All right. Uh, end cap. Kind of yeah. like an end shell or end ring. Yeah, yeah. And this wow. sinew is real sinew that my um my nephew makes me. He hunts deer a lot and he makes he makes me real sinew. Nice. So so lower it a little bit. Lower it a little bit. There you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, so um when when I I um like we'll get ready for our native names, girl ceremonies in April. And so I'm getting ready for that for my grandkids now. Not I don't have no grandkids, but my niece's kids. So for her granddaughter, so everything I give them has to come from Mother Earth. So but I'll put a little bling bling because, you know, they won't wear them unless they have bling. Oh, you're right. That's exactly right. <laughs> so yeah. I'll tell them because you walk in both worlds, that's the little bit of world you're going to get. But most of it comes from Mother Earth. Oh, that was really pretty, Michelle. Where Very we, nice. Very thank nice. you, Michelle. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So I didn't mean to... You know, Francis, I'm so grateful that you, because this horse hair is really difficult to work with. It, it is. It is. And my niece, that little stinker, she <laughs> would share with me how she ties her horse hair. <laughs> I'll have to show you um, her earrings. My daughter has them right now. She's doing a basketball camp in Nevada, but she wears them. And, uh, she has them on right now and, and yeah, I'd love to see those. Yeah, they're red. They're done with red horse hair. And most of our horse hair we get, we try and get it from our own horses. Mm -hmm. so, so um um yeah, that's what so you know the energy. Yeah, yeah. And and uh Francis, have you
you got a lot of different people joining your classes from Oklahoma? Just me. Oh, oh boy, she's our oh, CEO. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Because I really brag on you, Francis. I do. thank you. I really do, and I hope you enjoyed your cup of coffee. I did. I went and heated it up and took a stretch, so I'm doing good now. Oh, <clears throat> you done, Patty? Yeah, I'm done. I'm painting on the uh, buffalo over here. Wow, painting a buffalo. You want to see it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see yes. if I can get it over here. Hang on. Uh, no. I'm not sure how this is going to show up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Oh, Patty. Wow. That's gorgeous. That is awesome. Gosh, that is beautiful. I'm finishing up on the grass and stuff now. Woman of many talents. Right. So, <laughs> The, the more talents you have, the, the more of a curse it is when you try to clean up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know the well, I know the <laughs> What's Very what, nice. What's clean up? Yeah, what is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should be doing it once in a while and don't. <laughs> I do it all the time. You never know what. <sighs> right. <laughs> Michelle, are you the one that lives by Fort Cobb and Anadarko? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. We're going to have to get together one of these days. Yes, we are. And you're Patty. Uh huh. Also, yeah. you're painting the buffalo. Yep. yep. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm getting ready to retire in a couple weeks here. Oh, wow. Where are you working? Yeah. I work at Riverside Indian School, and I've been there 20, oh, yeah. 25 years, and I have the years in with the government. I don't have the age. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to quit my job and or resign, and it's kind of bad timing because it's in the middle of the year, but I've been sick about six times this year. I wonder what being around those schools, it's like being in a germ factory. Yeah. And you know, I, I taught for 26 years. I know. Yeah, I just I just can't do it. I'm and I just I don't know. It's kind of out with the old and with the new. I said, y'all new kids can have it. <laughs> I did my time. Yeah, that's oh, the that's way I'm feeling. <laughs> need uh, somebody whose joints don't hurt to keep up with the kids. <laughs> yeah. Really? Right. And, and, you know, times have changed. I mean, in education, I'm a social worker, but um, they've made me be an ed education tech. And, and I could see where they're... Um, really moving towards a different direction so i said you know what i want to do what francis does oh yeah. i love it i love it yeah. i am so blessed to get an early retirement yeah. and this is all i do yes. oh take care of grandbabies yeah and see i don't have no grandkids i have oh my I, gosh i have grand <laughs> They're a blessing and a curse. Yes. <laughs> like when you, when your daughter grows up, you always get one coming behind her. <laughs> <laughs> so Michelle, a lot of people that's had COVID 
around here they've had uh, they've been diagnosed with heart enlarged hearts after they've had COVID. So they've been able to get on disability. Yeah, and they're testing me now because I've had COVID twice, well now three times, three oh, times. My. And now they're gonna test me because, you know, I have 11 steps in my house and that leads up to my bead room and doing those 11 steps, I am out of breath. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's not good. Mm -mm. And I'm an athlete. I mean, I used to be an athlete and a cowgirl and really whatever I needed to be, I was, you know, and now it's just taking a toll on me and it's just that's hard. Good. So you might want to check into the disability end. Just to yeah. see. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm sorry that happened to you, though. Yeah, thank you. Next week, are we going to do those uh, tulip earrings? Yes. I have that mm -hmm. pattern up there. And okay. the, hang on, let me see if I still have the, like I said, the little circle part I'm, I'm going to do in beads. But the other part I'm going to do in quills. Okay. And I meant to get, I meant to get some quills up for seal, but colored ones and I just didn't because I didn't. You were sick though. <laughs> I was. I was. I was. Kind of put me back a little bit. Let's see here. Then are we going to do the bracelet? Um, no, we <laughs> um, we can, but we'd have to go beyond two weeks. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I can. Uh, I'm sure show you how I would set it. I could show you how I'd set it up. But see, these the circle part will be beads, but I but I want to do the rest of the petal and the other part in quills. Yeah, and I see on this one, it's your picture that it has the gold on the outside. Those are sure pretty, aren't they? The yeah. Yep. Tulip, those tulips are going to be pretty too. It's just deciding if I, if you want to do the whole tulip part is one. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> like the the petals? Is that what you mean? Um yeah, hang on. I'm trying to find the um, of course, I can find it when I want it. Yeah. The um. So yeah, see the the leaves right here are one stitch, and then that center one's one stitch, and then those the petals are one whole, you know, going straight across mm -hmm. to cover the whole area. Uh huh. So the one that we're doing, I don't know if we should, oh, of course, because this, the, these petals might be a little big, but I haven't looked at it because I haven't printed them off to the size I want. So they'll be just one stitch and then the 
center part and then the little over put your phone be, up a little bit so they all be different color okay put your phone up a little bit oh sorry sorry okay so mm -hmm. so your the quill work is going to go all the way across mm -hmm. just like it did on the other one okay so it, it it shouldn't be too hard. I say that because it won't be hard for me. But <laughs> and if you if you wanted to, you could use beads on the the brown part. Mm -hmm. If you didn't want to do tiny quill stitches. Gotcha. But because then it could tie that into the circle. Yeah. If that makes sense. So they kind of tying the design together. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so you could do those in beads and then the round circle and then the rest of that would be quill. And then when I get done with that, then I'll take uh, one of these and hang it from the bottom. That's going to be pretty. From, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. So I'll show you how to do those flowers and then I, I would show you how I would set up the bracelet to do if that's okay. what you want. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that's on a blank, a um, bracelet blank? Like after, she, after you get I'm done gonna with it? I'm going to say it is, but I wouldn't bet my life on it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it because it's so round. Mm -hmm. So you could do it either way. Like tie it, you mean? If you, yeah. Have a tie on the end. Tie it, yeah. You could do it either way, but it does. It looks like it's on a bracelet blank. Yeah. And it also, you see, and it's done on, looks like it's done on Pelon, and that's how we're going to do it. Okay. I mean, you could do it on leather if you wanted. So pick your poison. But to practice, you know, you want to, I want, in order to practice those stitches, I thought it would be easier for Pelon. Yeah, I think so too. See, so they even have a stone in there. You could even use that for the round part on iris. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on what you want to decorate it with. But that's how you're going to do it. Okay. You'll be covering the whole area with your quills. Good deal. Okay. I don't think I want to make it that oh my God. Chicken Terry. These are those little half pint jars I told you about. Let me see, where are you? You and Francis. I'm the one rocking <laughs> and rolling. I want oh, those. I don't see you, Cheryl. Where are you at? Oh, there, yeah. Where do you get those? Where they sell canning supplies. 
These are the oh, ones wow. I make. I can my elderberry syrup in. Oh, yeah. I was looking but at they, the jars. They, uh, they stack pretty good, but I don't know when I'll ever get my shelf built. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just curious. You're going to stack them or you going to line them up? Uh, kind of depends on how the measurements turn out. This two of them together are six and a half inches. Stacked? Yeah. You know, I don't remember where I saw them, but I was looking at jars and they were nice size and they were relatively inexpensive. But yeah, I'd like to do that. I have just beads and packets and tubes and inks just in, well, my hanks are in little baggies, you know. That's Maybe how I, I got mine. Yeah. And actually, there's worse ways. Those kind of work for me, and I pull out what I want to use. But I don't. Jars are nice. I don't Imagine know if there's a good way to get organized. I'm about to give up. <laughs> well, I just have piles of these, you know, and so they're not organized at all. They're in the bag, separate, but they're just kind of in. Um, I have a little. Um, I don't know what it is. It's like a little cabinet with a bunch of pull-out drawers and they're just stacked up in there. And I have all the 13s in one. I have all the delicates in one, the 11s in one, but it's still, it's, you know, I'm kind of rummaging through. I like the idea of the shelves on the wall and the glass jars better. It will look pretty too. All the colors. It is nice to be able to see them when you don't know what color to pick. <laughs> I don't have enough walls to do that. I have a lot of beads. If you're running low on something, what you might have enough of or not, you know. Yeah, having them stuffed in baggies and the drawer doesn't let you see what you're what you have yeah you don't know if you have enough for a project without you know digging through yeah yeah if i find the place where i was if i figure out where i saw those jars i will post it yeah yeah they were nice and they were a small size you know and the little canning jars i have are they're kind of they have a pattern on the side, so they're not clear. I mean, they're clear, but you know, just you can't see through them quite as well. Where these other ones are just a plain glass, which I would like better. I see some on uh, Amazon: four ounce, eight ounce, sixteen ounce, clear jars. Uh -huh. They were clear jars, and. I believe they came in size uh, 12, 12, uh, 12 I they were 12 packs. Mm -hmm. I think wherever I saw them, there were like 30 or 35 jars to a package and they were a pretty reasonable price and a nice short, but um, hold quite a lot size, you know? But I don't remember how much they were, but they, it seemed good. I wanna show you guys, I did finish my flute wrap. And I put hair, horse hair on the bottom, but I've got rubber bands on it right now because it was getting kind of all frayed out. But this is a yeah, isn't that awesome? That is so beautiful. Oh, it turned out so oh, oh, nice. Hold on, I can't find you. Oh, I'm up here. 
Right. Well, I don't know where you are. So. Oh, that's beautiful. It sure is. And I've got the, oh, wow. the brass, and then they tamed the hair with rubber bands for a while. But and I did it directly on the leather because I was afraid that the pelon would get too bulky. And then I added a leather strap and then just cut with pinking shears and folded it over to make it look, give it this little edge. Nice. Yeah, that turned out so nice. Yep, I do too. Yeah, that looks great. Thanks. Very nice. So you're gonna make there. you're gonna make a whole bunch of those, right? Um, I don't, I don't know about a whole bunch. I want to make <laughs> a few. Yeah, so five, five, would be, five would be a whole bunch to me right about now. <laughs> yeah, if I get five done, I'd be pretty happy because I yeah. have that thing in April, but I have to make some flutes too, you know. Do you oh. make the flutes? I mean, yes, yeah, I make does. Do you have any in the key of G? A, not, um, I have one sitting right here that is a key of G, but this is one that's my own but yeah that's beautiful it's got a stone inlay with some color on it it's a cocatelli that's beautiful do you sell them on your website i don't sell them on my website i just um just um uh, just facebook you can get a hold of me okay what's your last name terry summer it's summer terry mm -hmm. summer it's like the season okay yeah so or, or I T-E-R-R-I, yep. Cool. And, cool. and she does a beautiful job with custom orders. Well, thank you. She does. Thank you. I have seen some of it. Thanks. Um, summer stained glass designs, I push some pictures on there sometimes. Summer stained glass too? Yeah. It's also just a Facebook page though. How nice. I just, I like pretty, well, to me, the, the little glass beads are kind of like stained glass, you know, mm -hmm. kind of the natural extension. So, I agree. I like colorful stuff. Me too. Makes me happy. Color makes me happy. Me too. All right, this is not going to make me happy here. Uh oh, I need some color. <laughs> oh, I, I, I need some color. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think I just got too much. It's not fitting in the cone the way I want it to. So. I'm afraid to use a lighter to burn off my top. I, yeah. I left my lighter away in the other room. So. <laughs> I have messed up with my lighter sometimes. Oh my God. I, uh, yeah. I can just see this. It isn't a big deal, but I'm pretty sure these will fall apart if I use my lighter. <laughs> uh, I think I'll order a thread burner. Oh, I love it. I love my thread burner. This is the second one I bought. I, where did you get it i got That's mine on amazon i get everything on amazon <laughs> me too I mine at joanne's yeah you can find it at joanne's yeah i get everything on amazon because i'm out here in the middle of nowhere and i don't go to town very often and ever since covid started i don't go around people because i don't want to get it <laughs> Yeah, Never and, had because, it. and because don't you don't it. want to, I don't want. Uh, no, I was a hermit be year before COVID ever came around. I love my hermit life. So this is a little turtle that Francis showed us how to make in one oh, of our eating sessions. Yeah, that's cute. Yes, this one's going to go on a flute bag. My mom's making bags and, and this poor guy's been sitting in a drawer for a while and it's like, no, he deserves some place to go. Yes, but these are really tiny. Yes, yeah, it's been a while cute. since we made those. Oh. That was so cute. 
<clears throat> running out of ideas we might have to start all over again <laughs> francis you never got covid nope i never have good for <laughs> you never been vaccinated francis the only other person who i know of who hasn't gotten covid is my husband no, with all of his never... traveling and everything else he hasn't gotten it yeah I have not gotten it. I haven't had COVID. You haven't? No. no. My mom um, hasn't had it, which I'm really grateful because she's 83, you know. The only way that some people have been able to say they've had COVID is because they forced the medical to test them. Otherwise, they wouldn't have because they the medical personnel asked them, do you want to be tested for COVID? So they had a, they could either say yes or no. So I don't know if, you know, if we're ever going to know who has it or who's had it and who has it. Yeah. If they actually been tested every time they go in for something that they get sick for. I have an idea that we could do, but I don't know if you guys would want to like shoot me for, uh, for showing it to y'all. It's a beautiful ornament and it's a uh, pine bough. Where are, Where are you? Where are you? I'll find I'll find it. I'll find the picture and then I'll show you guys, okay? Is it me? Right. I have like 40,000 pictures. <laughs> It'll take me a minute. <laughs> a minute. I thought those, I've seen feathers lately that are beaded, but it looks like it can't, the, the feather part can't be fringe, but that's what they look like. They're kind of cool. Oh, I think I've seen those. I want to know how to make those. I don't know it, what you're talking it, about. You do it know? Looks like it's, I don't know. Cheryl, are they the ones that look like they're pretty much all fringe, but kind of sewn together? Yeah, somehow they must be sewn together because they're not floppy. Yeah. What are they made out of? Beads. Beads. Oh, you better find one and show me because I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, no, me too. <laughs> I saw somebody had made a a mobile out of them. Out of oh, the really? Feathers. Beaded feathers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, Terry, you describe them, how it might be done. Well, it looks like, you know, so if you have your, oh, let me hold on. I should have said, please, Terry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so this this stuff here all of this looks like rows and rows of beads rows of fringe but then they're attached together some oh, oh. wait like show it to me hands. again but show it to me again like okay. if all of these instead of being the whatever this is called the uh -huh. it's like rows and rows of beads but it looks like okay. fringe on there all so they must they're be attached on the down end. The and they're they're not they're not sewn together. Like well, they're attached stitch. together. I don't know if they're sewn on Pellon on the back or what the deal is, because I've only seen the you know the picture of them. Right. But it does I'm look just... like they made like lots and lots of fringe assembled together to be, to make a feather. I think I've, I, yeah, I don't know if I've seen it or not. It looks pretty. Got a feather we made in a class, but I don't think that's what you're talking about. Hmm. I, that think it's, um, I think it's. Um, I don't think that's it, Zen. I, that's the I only feather I've ever made. <laughs> I think it's the um, mohawk stick. Is that done on uh, Eileen? Yes. What was that done on? This is done on Pallon. 
Oh, is it? I don't think these are on Pellon. Yeah, this is a little different than that. That we're, uh, Cheryl and I are thinking. Of. Where are you, Eileen? Are you thinking, Terry, of something like th those blue ones like that? They're just sort of fringe hanging there? I can't quite see your phone here. Uh, sort of. Maybe. Not quite well. But they're a different shape, the ones I've yeah, seen. Different shape. Yeah, I agree, different shape. Are those solid, Tabby? I don't. Uh, uh, I don't think so. It was just something I found on on um, online. I really liked the the shape of the bracelet, so I was going to try to figure out how she did that. But those earrings are with it. Oh, uh -huh. my. yeah. So kind of similar, but the shape is different. I'm guessing they're they're just hanging because the end bead. It looks like she threaded them through, and then the end bead is sideways and went back up. Right, like you would do. Yep. Like, so like you would think, do. Yeah, so I think they're just fringe hanging. I don't think they're attached in any way. Oh, oh like that one? Look at Sarah's. Sarah's got it. Yeah, Sarah, more like that. Hold on. Mm. Hold on. Let me find you. Yeah. Yep, that's what I think. That's what I think those were. They were just hanging there. That reminds me of corn for some reason. Thought, yeah, I think interesting. Yeah, and they're all fringe. I like the movement of them. Yeah, yeah. I think though, um, there, those ones I think would be the same. Yeah, yeah, potentially done with smaller beads. So, Sarah maybe. can tell us how. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make those? This is the only pair I made because it <clears throat> it was frustrating. If they're not difficult, they're just frustrating to because they don't. My mind likes to follow a pattern, and it and it kind of is a little wonky. But it's a one page instruction sheet. I think I shared it with Tabby. Did you ever, Tabby? Did I give that to you? Yeah, I'll share like it with that? her. Are okay. they like that? Yes, yes. Francis, that's it. Where are you, Francis? I don't oh. know. Where are you? That looks like it. Yeah, that looks like it. That yeah, I think so too. Yep. <laughs> let's, let's make those, Francis. Oh sure, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the confidence. All right. Uh, I <laughs> wow. Yeah, those. Um, it has a tutorial in there. Let's see what it says. I won't guarantee anything. But... It can't be worse than the 3D hummingbird. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, Jerry, yes. <laughs> 3D hummingbird, I'm in. Oh, no. Never <laughs> again. Ever. Never again? Did you do it once? Yes. No, I haven't done mine yet. <laughs> Well, we, we did have a class on it, but I did not finish it. I told you guys, I keep, in my, it's I keep in my finding, UFO pile. Yeah, I keep finding little half started bodies. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to find those forever. I know. <laughs> I was vaguely successful with that, I think, right? What? <laughs> that was. I did get one done. I don't, let me see if I took a picture of it. Holy cow. I didn't even join that class. <laughs> I joined, but I knew I wasn't going to make that. Look at these feathers. Aren't those pretty cool? Yeah, those are pretty. They're pretty cool. They're beautiful. Oh, oh wow. I know. Those look like, are they square stitch or peyote? I, you know what? I can't tell. I wonder. What not, they look like they might be 
brick stitched. Brick stitched pair of Actually, earrings. what those look like is they, they look like a pair of earrings I did that were herringbone stitch. No, you know, they got cup. I think they're different stitches in there. Because if you see, this is a brick stitch. And then this yeah. goes. Move your phone up. up. So yeah, they kind of, I think you just kind of put them. I don't know. <laughs> Move your phone. I don't know if they're peyote. I don't know if they're peyote or brick stitch or yeah, those look like the brick or peyote, one of them. So yeah, they look solid. Yeah. Francis, yeah. Well we, well they the herringbone I did was solid too, and it and it does look a lot like square stitch. What you got, Tabby? I was gonna say we could try make take another run at that raised um Oh, the raised beadwork? Heck yeah. yeah. Okay, in there too. I'll, we'll do that. I better, wait, let me write it down because I say yes and then I get back to my my seat in the, cat, in the living room to I know we did, a list. I think we did feathers the first time we did it, but those on that earrings are kind of fun. Yeah, those flower earrings, that does look fun. The ones you just had right there? Yeah. What's yeah. in the center of that? Yes. Tiny, um, you know those plastic cabs that you can buy those tiny plastic shiny guys oh okay yeah okay you can still use beads in the middle too yeah and what is it does it is it done on buckskin leather um you know what i don't know can you send me that picture i can i don't even know where i got that picture but yeah i can absolutely All right are you putting those fringed feathers <laughs> the feathers Yes, because because yeah, I might I'll, even... I'm gonna look at this. There's a tutorial here in Pinterest that I'm gonna look at it. Because I might possibly even threaten to join in on that one. Oh my <gasps> God, no! <laughs> okay, hey, I have to do it at least once a year. Join in. I yes, you do. I I agree. Yeah, when I tap, it says go to website, but when I tap on that, it just takes me to the front of my front of my Facebook page again. So I don't know. Yeah, screenshot it. Yeah, screenshot it. Yeah. Screenshot it and send it to me. Okay. This is just not staying in there. Francis, all you need now is some green horse hair and you'll be ready for Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means, oh, but okay. Oh, green. Actually, no, green and you'll need some green and some purple. Oh, oh, some purple. purple. Oh, wow. How can anybody be purple? ready for Mardi Gras? Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to be ready for Mardi Gras. Otter's always ready for Mardi Gras. Holy heck. <laughs> You know what? I went to Mardi Gras once and I am not a people person. And I had the time of my life. It was so fun. That's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah I'm so not a people person at all. Yeah, I, I, a lot of people. I didn't like you guys though. Don't get offended. <laughs> no, here, but, I'm like, oh. <laughs> but you've never seen a parade. Like a Mardi Gras parade. They're so fun. And you can't find bad food in New Orleans either. So That's funny. what that would be the part I want to go for. Yeah, I always said I, I want to go back know, just to the, eat. All the different food you could find. Oh, oh, so good. That would be worth it. But Terry, you've got to admit, when you go to a Mardi Gras parade, there's nothing you don't see. Oh, it's yeah, that's true. But and then I thought very <laughs> Harry Connick Jr. on the float. I learned so much about anatomy that week. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. 
family oriented and they were pretty tame. but you've never seen a parade with so much glam i mean i've never seen a parade since that could even hold my interest after those because i i agree fabulous. i bet People put so much money into them. Did you get a lot them. of beads? I got a ton of beads. Did you get a lot of beads, Terry? Did you? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what them? You know what you get beads for? <laughs> That's what I asked. <laughs> I tell you what. One thing you don't do is reach down and pick up beads that hit the ground because you get your feet, your hands stomped. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I back in the days of ICQ, I had a friend who lived in Mobile. <laughs> And his grandkids, they, because like me and my kids, we didn't, we had no idea about Mardi Gras and we have, we had no idea what moon pies were or anything else. They sent us Mardi Gras in a box. So we got a box full of beads and snacks. And I finally got to discover what moon pies are, got addicted to the banana ones, but you cannot get them in Canada. Oh no. No, we we have things up here that are similar, and that like like our wagon wheels is, is what we call them, and it's 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 like a chocolate moon pie, oh, but okay. it's it's not the same. But one of the things that I turn around and I w would not share with my kids, but at that time my kids were you know three, four, and nine, I think. So they didn't know they didn't know what, what they were missing. I did not share any of those banana moon pies. <laughs> did you get king cake at all? I'm sorry? Did any king cake? No, no, they this this here was just the loot and stuff like that that they got from the Mardi Gras parade. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. King cakes yeah. quite oh my gosh, that stuff's good. Unbelievable. Is that the cake that uh, has the Whoever gets the baby has to buy the next one because there's oh, a yeah. little baby dolphin one. Well, I've seen them on TV, and just looking at them, my 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 blood sugar spike. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just smell. Them. And I'm not even <laughs> diabetic. I have problems with low blood. <coughs> right. Low blood sugar, and my, and my my blood sugar spike in just looking at one of those suckers. Yeah, they're yeah, it's definitely pretty yummy. But yeah, it was a fun time, and I yeah, I would have thought that would just be something I hate because I don't like crowds, but I really had such a good time. But I also went with people that were from there, and they knew all the best routes to go and how not to get stuck in crappy places, and they knew where the best um, bars were. Which I have that, now that it would was, be something to have yeah. someone to take you to the <laughs> safely through there yeah, yeah. well the music is it's... incredible 24 oh, yeah. 7 yes we went to the oldest existing bar or i guess functioning bar in the whole country um and there was a guy playing piano and singing and it was just freaking amazing amazing it was so fun and I like yeah. I like people about like Francis. I have small doses, really. Yeah. Don't I don't do people at all. I'm I don't even I have a hard time doing Costco. Me too. That's stressful. I, the I can't I, I'm able to do Winko a little better now, but I used to not be able to do that either. I think I got too much in one. And even they're pretty. I know, but one is fuller than the other. Yeah. Can you it tell can the you difference? Snip, can you snip your little scissors up underneath the cone a little bit? Mm, that just I don't know if I want to do that. Are those red ones? Like the they are red ones. They are red ones like the blue wow. ones. Those are gorgeous. Flowers on one side and butterflies on the other. I wonder if they're gonna start making jingle dress dances like that or a uh, coin. Oh wow, that would be that would be cool. Wouldn't that what, be cool? red red jingle? 
Yeah. You can like, get just them. Like, well, I, make, I, I have they, a whole they bunch. They're, 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 jingles, they're made but... by a local company here here in Manitoba and that and um and they're 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 red for the missing and murdered. Oh wow. I wonder if they're painted like that though with the flowers. No, they're, no, they're no, no, well they yeah. are they are but they aren't like they're it, it's electric plate so it doesn't or rub off anodized maybe oh yeah yeah I, I i forget exactly what it's called but it doesn't rub off because i've i've made i've made jingle earrings and stuff like that out of them hmm. i really like some with the the flowers on there though that would be pretty Francis, am I going to have a hard time burning off that big knot, or can you see it? I, I can't. I don't see you. Where are you? It's going to come off. I'm waving at you again. Oh, there you are. Hang on. I got to get my... I can't. <laughs> I can't see it. Hang on. Let me pin you up here. Yeah. That is a pretty big knot. And that's a three, three wrap, three knots. It's a square knot with an extra one. Yeah, but, um, don't do that, huh? Don't do that. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> I think, I think um, the... The initial problem is my uh, sinew is too thick. Yes, yeah, too thick. That that's the problem. Can you take one knot out? Probably, then, maybe. Then, yeah, take one out and see if that might do it. But yeah, your sinew is too thick. M weren't you paying attention? Oh, that's right. You weren't here when I was showing how to tie it both times. Well, you <laughs> initially when I asked, you told me, wait a minute. Well, I waited 45 minutes. <laughs> no way. And then I had to go potty. No way. <laughs> no, you're going to go. Never mind. <laughs> hey, let's Guys, see if I can get I really my camera don't on. I really want to take these apart, but they're just not. The see, right. these are the earrings I've made with the red jingle. <laughs> Where not, Nicole's look for Nicole's iPad. Hey, Nicole, there you are. Let me make you bigger. How big are those cones? Ooh. These ones here, these are the child size jingles. Just because of the just because I was using them for earrings. I, yeah. I use the child size jingles. Nicole. And the thing is, is it's hard, it's really hard to tell. But can you see how there's kind of they're kind of imprinted too? Yeah, is that like it, the lid of the shoe? Yes, it, it's 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 print it's it's imprinted with with uh, the company company's name and logo. Oh. I okay, I apologize in advance. I know that I am butchering it, but but um, Anishinaabe Bimishimo. I think is the name of the company. They uh -huh. are in um, in Swan Lake, Manitoba. It is uh, the the girl that owns the company. She well, I guess she's now about she's in her early twenties now, and that. But everybody who works for the company is is right there on rest. It is it, and these are the only cones that are made in North America. Oh wow! Because you know, like, like if you get them, if you, all the other ones you get, they're all they're all made. They're they all come from, they all come from Asia. Oh these are way. made in, well, they're made in Canada. But the thing is, these are the only ones. You, this company is the only one that that produces cones in North America. You know the row on the bottom, the with the different colors. They look well. See what what it was. Is see like they, this one here was red and white. Well, red and crystal for for um Nothing and murder. For yeah, thank you, because my, my brain went dead. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have there like the the sunset fire colors, and then I had the four and then I had the four directions. Oh, those are beads, I see. 
Yeah. I thought there were. A few but the thing is, 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 well, I used that and then I had like, a, oh, it was about a six millimeter glass bead underneath. And that's what actually holds them in. So, so the jingles are loose. So when you're walking with them, oh, you know what? I'll go grab some because I have them in my room. Okay, great. They're, they're blue ones though. Okay. I didn't realize there were beads at the top. They look like Alexa tablet. nightstand on. What was that, Terry? I didn't realize there were beads at the top till she got it closer. It looked like thread wrapping, which is really pretty too. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that I had some. <laughs> See, now these ones here are, are the red ones. Mm -hmm. And then they came out with these teal ones. These teal ones are for um, uh, addiction and trauma survival. But you can see here how, like the name of the company is printed right into the lid. They oh, yeah. do sell plain lids as well, but these here are the kid size. But see, I just turned around and I took a bead, like it's on a, head pin uh -huh. and that and then I just got okay where's my camera there we go and then I have the pattern of beads but it makes them loose so they when when they move they like like when when you're wearing them they they do jingle slightly not enough to annoy you but enough to make you mindful oh, nice. yeah, so that's what yeah, see, the, these ones here are a little bit looser. Mm -hmm. It's not nice. pretty. Well, the thing is, is, is well, when, when they introduced the red ones, they had actually sent out a whole bunch of cones to a bunch of designers and everything else. And that, so that way, on the release date of them, mm -hmm. they could already show stuff made out of them. And um, there was one place that had started selling the cones early. And so of course the company was a little bit upset, but that was actually the same weekend as the winter powwow here. And I was actually working at the winter powwow and that at a, at a, at a booth. And so I went over there and everything else and I was talking to the lady. They ended up sending along well, over to the bead store that I always deal with, they sent me a package of flat child jingles just to see what I could come up with. How nice. And that, so, yes. Yeah. yeah. And they hang, and you know what? Honestly, they don't take much time at all. Yeah. But what, what I like about them is, is that the jing, that, that uh, the jingles aren't, they they're loose because I've seen some where people like they've gone and they punched a hole in them and that and then they're attached, which mm -hmm. is nice. But these ones here, they 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 make a little bit of a jingle and like for me, that's part of the reason why you're wearing a jingle dress. Yeah, is for the jingles. Well, this here, it's like I said, it's not enough to drive you absolutely batty, and that because uh, you know every time you move, if you're you know if you're wearing jingle bell earrings at Christmas time. How long would it take before you took those suckers off? Because well, you mine. Just... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. All right. The right. thing is, is that these here, it's just, right. One just a little bit. Measure in length. Go. We're almost ready to go. Go, go, go. I'm ready to be done. My back is screaming. So anyway, here, I'm going to use my dyed pelon for those quill earrings. Oh, nice. So you might want to think about dyeing your pelon. I didn't do this, so I don't know how she did it. <laughs> this was given to me when I did the buttons because they wanted the, they didn't want the white background. So I have a whole bunch of this, but unless you're in the States, you wouldn't get it in time. Yeah. So you think you see, with, with pelon with pelon being being poly like it's polyester and that or nylon i don't know how how you would even find a dye that would well, stick on that she did it with root dye she did 
um, she did quite a bit of it for me because we didn't know how much I'd need. She did a lot of it. So I still have a lot left, um, but, but I didn't think about it before to get it up. So I have some. You can get writ dye for synthetic materials. Yeah. yeah, I believe that's what she did. I bet that's it. Yeah, I, I think, Carrie, I believe that's what she did. I still wonder. <laughs> yeah. Because she wanted it to not be white when I did the buttons. So just wanted you guys to know that in case you want to mm -hmm. figure it out. Thank you. And um, thank you. Francis. But I am ready to go. I need to go and I made it. I made it. So. Good job, Francis. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. All right. We'll, we'll see you guys next week. All right. Thanks, everybody. Francis, I sent those pictures to you on the Facebook. All right. Thank you. Right. Okay. Gabby, stay yep. good. Take care of yourself. All right. You too. All right. I'm Bye, gonna everybody. Send you a message, Francis. Yeah, what? I'm going to send you a message in regards to Okay. 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 All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody.